listen now. Will you go back willfully to a life of sin, purposely wanting to disobey God? Will you go back to that way because someone you may have admired has fallen back into sin. Do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Will you go back to sin because a pastor, bishop, or whomever have fallen into sin. For instance, will you go back to sin if you find out Uncle Kev is smoking crack or something? Will you go back to sin if that is a sin? Will you go back to sin if you find out Uncle Cav has, he became a pimp and he is prostituting women and stuff like that, will you go back to sin? Will you go back to sin if you found out I went to prison because of murder or something like that, would you go back to sin? So if I choose to go to hell, would you turn your back against God? Would you go to hell as well? Would you? Listen now, you may admire someone you may have trust in someone. If that person chooses to do wrong, it doesn't mean you should do wrong as well. Just because someone you may admire has turned their back against God, it doesn't mean you should do the same thing. Why go to hell because of another person? If I know to do right, if I know this and that is a sin, and if I choose to go back to sin, don't follow me, right? You can't say to God, I don't think you can say to God, God, I really admired Uncle Kev. He helped me so much and I found out that he became a huge sinner again. So I was like, hey, I might as well do it as well. Can you tell God that? Or would you? I don't think so, would you? I hope not. No matter who falls back into sin, get and stay strong in God. Myself, my mom, dad, whoever can go back to sin, but I am not. I am not saying I do everything right when I say go back to sin as in purposely go back to that lifestyle of just doing whatever you want, even when you know it is wrong. No matter, even if it was a person who helped me, if there was a person who helped me so much, if that person goes back to a lifestyle of sin, I am not. And you should be the same way as well. Kevin, I don't want to go to church or I don't want to be saved because a person I met claimed to be Christian. They hurt my feelings. So I assume all Christians are bad and all churches are bad. 
Give me a break, man. Are you serious? Don't think in that manner. Heaven or hell, no matter who has disappointed me in life, I am going to continue on in God. Yes, I may cry, I may get hurt, but whatever. Let me continue on in God, right? Let me stop here. God bless you.